All right, boys and girls. So I'm going to read to you and you can also participate with me. I'll show you some moves and you can do it as well because this book is all about learning different yoga poses. And yoga, just like we practice at school, keeps your body healthy, it keeps your breathing relaxed and your body calm. And it's a really great exercise for you to practice at home so you can sing, do it along with me. The Grateful Giraffe, that's the title of this book. This is the front cover, this is the Good, back cover, and on the back cover is the description. It tells you what the book is about. And this is the spine, awesome. All right, deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's get ready, okay. The Grateful Giraffe. And I'm gonna pause in between each one to do the pose with you so you can follow along. Here's a little information page. Hey, what, what animal is that? Flamingo. I bet you can stand on one foot just like the flamingo can too. A grateful giraffe returns to the wild. Bleep bleep moon. And this is extended mountain pose. So you can do this too. Put the book down and we keep our body up. Good. A finicky flamingo picks out a snack. Warm warm old squawk. See how we, we just spoke about this, huh? Now your turn to practice. This is a tree pose. We put one foot on the ground, one foot up. See, even the teacher has to practice too. And our hands together. And you can even try on the other side too, see if that's easier. It's a little tricky, but don't give up. Right, we always say don't give up. A caring koala cuddles her baby tightly. Grind, grind the snort. And this is called eagle pose. So stand up nice and straight. We're going across a leg, across arms, and hold your tummy in tight. It's kind of tricky. And then try the other side. Rotate, rotate, and hold. You did it. And I don't want to hear, I can't do it, right? Because is that trying your best? Mm mm. An excited elephant runs to the water hole. Remember, excited means you're so, so happy. Wide-legged standing bend. So for this one, you have to keep your legs apart and body down. Kind of hang, take a deep breath. Good. Just because like an elephant, they are really wide too. So you use your legs to make yourself super wide. Frustrated frog. Remember, frustrated means you get so upset and very angry that you kind of just feel a little bit overwhelmed. And the best thing you can do is take a breath, right? A frustrated frog can't catch a fly. Ribbit, ribbit, splash. Here's a squat pose. See how our friend is on their flags? And then you put your hands together. Take a deep breath. Don't forget to sit up nice and straight. Playful puppy chases a ball. Woof, woof, boing. And this is downward facing dog. So you put your legs down, arms out, and reach to the sky. Go ahead, press. Keep your legs straight. Nice. Keeps your body relaxed. And then if you feel like it kind of feels a little funky, it might be your muscles. So you're stretching your muscles and it's, it's, it helps them to feel better too. A happy horse kicks its hind legs. Nay, nay, clop. So just like the downward dog, this one's called a three-legged dog pose. So you put your body at bottom up, and then your leg to the sky. Maybe try your other leg too. All right, good. A cranky crocodile. Cranky sometimes means you're grumpy. Cranky crocodile lurks in the river. Snap, snap, growl. Plank pose. So do you see how this friend is on their feet and on their hands? So you put your legs out and your arms down and hold your tummy and body up. See if you can keep yourself stiff like a, like a statue, right? Don't move. Good. <clears throat> a 
sly snake hides in the sand. Wiggle, wiggle. This is cobra pose. So remember, you lay on your belly. Lay on your belly. Legs flat and head up. So you're kind of like this. Up, up, up. Good. But you don't have to move like that. I'm just showing you. All right. A curious cat peeks around a tree. Snarl, snarl, pounce. So did you see how our friend here, she's on her knees with her hands to the ground and lift your back up, 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 stretch right through this and go up, 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 this guy. Good. Nice friends. A proud peacock shows off its feathers. Scream, scream, swish. Look at this peacock. Do you see all these feathers flying up in the air? Proud means that you're happy with yourself and what you've done, right? So this is just called a hero pose. So start on your knees like this, and then just sit on your knees, hands on your lap, deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. A sad sloth observes the tree cutters. Squeak, squeak, whistle. This one, I think you'll like this one. Resting pose, right? Just lay flat on your back and take a deep breath. Let's see if I can do it here. You might not be able to see me and that's okay. Just relax. Good. All right. Oh, and this one's sad though. Can you show me a sad face? Remember our song? If you're sad and you know it, use your words because it's important to talk about how you're feeling. That way somebody knows how to help you feel better. The end. And this is telling you all of the different animals that we spoke about and the feelings and the poses. The end. I had fun with you guys. Enjoy your day.